Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with the Sarah Jane Adventures. Last time on the Sarah Jane Adventures, we had the Mad Woman in the Attic. So, uh, interesting episode. Definitely an interesting episode. Uh, we started off in the future with an older Rani Chandra, and she was the mad, old, the mad woman in the attic. And we saw sort of... It just, we went back in time, saw what had happened that led her to be the mad woman in the attic, and it was an interesting episode, definitely interesting, a little sad and stuff, but then it got happy, and it was like, alright, cool. And yeah, just overall, just very interesting. So yeah, um, that's pretty much that. Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes of the Sarah Jane Adventures, Torchwood, Doctor Who, and Doctor Who classic that I've reacted to. And yeah, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into this episode of the Sarah Jane Adventures. Here we go. Oh, and the doctor's coming at some point. I forgot about that. Add that into the intro. Aerial satire scan. There. What was the story this time? They put a tracking... She says she's going to a meeting at the town hall about... This is highly irregular behavior. Do not exceed your function, Mr. Smith. Your opinion has not been asked for. Damn! That soldier. <laughs> it's a big F you from K9. Master Clyde. Whoa. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> she's gonna put on actual lipstick. Oh, that's funny. Oh, people are reading. That's the TARDIS! Information. Sarah Jane's car is now parked outside the house. <laughs> oh, hello, Sarah Jane. Mistress Raleigh instructed me not to relay the information Ooh. that you were followed to your assignation. Stop on you! <laughs> you were spying on me. We were worried. When you've it's interesting to watch their loyalties. It's always been a disaster. <laughs> Alpha waves high. Heart beat fast. Increased serotonin. Oh, K9. Always the romantic. <laughs> Do you think it's fun to act off of a robotic dog in a computer screen? That's the TARDIS. Is it struggling? Hello there. Easy for you. <laughs> Come on, Clyde. Yeah. All right, good. Good moves. Thank you. Dang it, aliens. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Alien activity detected. Alert. Oh, K9. Ah, that's where the title comes from. You marry me. All in one episode, man. Uh, I'm so nervous about everything. Fuck. Perfect fit. Mmm. <sighs> God, no. Here they come. Hey, we're getting married. What? Muzzle tough. Well, you don't have to look so pleased. <laughs> well, I know it's a bit of a shock, but Peter's got it all planned. Hey, there he is. Can't do it. Let's add him all over again. I can't do it. We went round to Peter's house. Mom? The ring? Oh, I should be angry with you breaking in there. That's why she's not angry. That's why she's not angry. Oh, look at you. Fuck. I've made you all so suspicious. But wait, the ring, she didn't have the ring, so that wouldn't have made her. All right. <laughs> Fucking Peter. Were well, you heading after the reception? Somewhere exotic. Afterwards is a surprise. Huh. I don't like that. It can't be any worse than our honeymoon. Total disaster. Um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Brussels. There's nothing there. <laughs> Man, sorry, Brussels. <laughs> That's funny. Ronnie, you look good. I look good. <laughs> A little bit more. You look amazing. There you go. Now you got it. That's a, God, that's a bright dress. 
I thought you might have gone for the doctor to give you away. I need somebody reliable. <laughs> so very, very glad it's you. And they wish to affirm their relationship with this marriage. Now I have to ask this question. That's the if TARDIS. Can show just cause or impediment why they may not be joined together. Oh shit, she can hear it too, can't she? Doctor! The angel? What the? F you motherfucker! Fuck! God damn it! Motherfucker! God. Trickster. God. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. That may be my favorite moment in any of these shows, though. The doctor going in and stopping the wedding. <sighs> oh. Oh, I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> the fucking trickster. God. But he's wearing white. That's <laughs> weird, man. Why is he wearing white? Oh. Uh. <sighs> oh. Okay. Oh, fuck. We have to keep going. We have to keep going. Part two. Here we go. How does he have his blue suit, though? Did he just get a new one? Is that why it took him so long? He had to stop by the tailors? Okay. Uh-oh. Timeline's changing, I guess. Yep. So, time moved on, but they're still here. How does that work? I said all along. Doctor. Where's the doctor? Remember the doctor. No. Ah, that's right. Fuck you. He's one of the pantheon of discourse. That's a good name for a pantheon. <laughs> Actually, not bad. <laughs> yeah. He's an eternal exile. Pantheon of discourse. Oh, 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 oh. She's here. She's here. Sarah. Sarah Jane. She doesn't like being called Sarah. She doesn't call her name. <laughs> yeah. It's the only one that calls her Sarah. I'm so happy that the doctor's here. God damn it. It's not possible. Kick him! We can't run away, Sarah Jane. Yeah, I can! All you have to do is give me your agreement. Do I have your agreement? Yes. It always works. And it should always work, honestly. Why wouldn't it? Right. Decorators do on Monday. Turn this into a proper little office. Yeah. will bring you happiness. What's the price? There's gonna be a catch with you, there always is. Sarah it means Jane. he won't stop everything else. All you have to say is, I do. It's basically a retirement. Don't. Oh no. Come on, you guys can make it. Ah, oh, crap. There is no TARDIS! 
Does he have the power of the TARDIS? He absorbed it. Ooh! Did it work? Come on. I know you're a good man. I'm so sorry. He's gotta die. Crap, now he's gone too. And he's down. I know. So Peter has to sacrifice his own life. I do You really don't know my Sarah Jane, do you? She gave me the strength. Yeah. And I withdraw my agreement. Fuck you. Yes. The trap's broken. Time's moving forward again. You're going home. Hold on! Everyone, hold on. We're all going home. That all really happened, didn't it? Yeah. Affirmative. <laughs> Thank you, K9. <laughs> God, I love having K9 there. If you say so. Run off like that. Sudden disappearing act. Yeah, all over. Sarah Jane, escalation of temporal flux. Temporal flux escalating. The TARDIS. Yes. <laughs> Can we have a look? What in the TARDIS? My TARDIS! Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Come on in! It's awesome! Oh, it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> it's beautiful. God, they love that fucking line. All back to, to the dinosaurs, yeah? Another planet? No way. <laughs> For one thing, you were grounded by the Jadoon, and your parents never forgive me. Oh yeah, they were grounded. She can though. Is this the last time I'm ever going to see you? I don't know. Yeah. I hope not. Don't forget me, Sarah Jane. No one's ever going to forget you. <laughs> Isn't that what he said? Isn't that what Tom Baker said? They showed that in, in like, the last episode. You were right. He is amazing. And so are we. Yeah. Fucking trickster. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fucking trickster. God. And I was thinking to myself, it's like, man, the trickster already? And it's like, well, wait, think about it. The last time we saw the trickster was last season. It's just that I'm doubling these up that it seems so fast. I mean, I kind of forget that we are in Series 3 now. Oh, God. Oh, fucking trickster. Alright, this... <laughs> like the last two trickster episodes we had, this is definitely... I'm pretty sure going to be the best of this season. <sighs> now, is it... Compared to the other two Trickster episodes, is this... 
is this one as good or better? Maybe I'd say it's it's either on par or just under a little bit because I don't think that the I don't think I don't think Peter is as compelling as you know. First off, Andrea Yates, and then now uh, or the next one, you know, we had her parents, Mister and Missus Smith. So, yeah, I don't know if he's exactly as compelling, especially because he kind of just came out of the blue for this one, but eh, it's still pretty good. I, I, you know, I think what they lack in the being compelling from, uh, from Peter, they make up for by having the doctor. I think that's it. And that's amazing that we got the doctor, you know, because... This is the first time the Doctor's been in one of these spinoffs. Because he's never been on Torchwood and it's it's his first time on Sarah Jane. So, yeah. Okay, let's go over these notes. Uh, the first thing I wrote down was spying. I find that interesting that, you know, she's going on these secret dates, you know, and she's not, she doesn't want to talk, she doesn't want to tell them right now. So, they start getting suspicious of her. And actually spy on her. I think that's kind of funny. And, you know, that's pretty classic. Like, that would happen. Like, okay, I that kind of works. Um, yeah, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, I wrote down Mr. Smith slash K-9. Uh, we, got, we got that a bit in the last episode, how Mr. Smith doesn't really care for K-9. But now it doesn't... It seems like K-9 doesn't care for Mr. Smith either. It's like... I love that the two of them don't really get along. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really funny and just sort of the the shade they're throwing at each other. I love that, and it's great to have K nine in this. I think he does add a little bit more to it. You would think that he might solve problems a bit. He would make problems get solved easier, but not really. That's the interesting thing. <sighs> Like, really, all he did was take a few of the functions that Mr. Smith had, and that that's it. He just did them himself, you know? It was like, the K-9 scan for aliens, and Mr. Smith's like, I was perfectly capable of doing that. Thanks. But he he's kind of like a portable Mr. Smith now. Now that, because, you know, they brought him to the wedding and stuff like that. You brought the dog? I love that. Um, Peter Dalton. Okay. Interesting character. Okay, when I saw, you know, I obviously, before I recorded this, I saw the title of the episode. There's just no getting around that. I try not to, but generally I do see the titles of these episodes. And so I saw The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, and I was like, hmm, that's weird. Because she has had no romantic interests in this entire show and I don't know if she had any romantic interest in Classic Who. So, yeah, that's interesting. And so, it makes sense that they did this whole thing. It was like, well, secretly she's been, you know, secretly she's been dating this guy. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And then, yeah, he seemed like a decent enough guy. But it was, it was all part of the trickster's plan. That's the thing. So, yeah. And again, I don't think he's as compelling as uh, Andrea Yates and uh, Sarah Jane's parents. But he was alright. Uh, yeah, not not the best, you know, way to trick Sarah Jane, basically. But it, it worked out, overall. Uh, I wrote down the slug. That was just a nice little diversion. You know, because it is one of those things that's like, you know, you got to hide it from, you know, the guy that doesn't know anything. So, I like that. That was a little, that was a neat little thing. Uh, I wrote down the marriage slash the ring. Um, so, that's interesting that basically Sarah Jane, like, you know, we've had, we've had in the first one where, you know, it was Andrea's choice that erased Sarah Jane and then in the other one, it was, um, in the other one, it was Sarah Jane that had to make the choice in order to, um, in order to let the trickster materialize, basically. 
And this time it was, um, this time it was marriage. So if she gets married, then she would not pursue her old life. She wouldn't be, I assume she wouldn't really be a journalist or at least not an alien journalist. And she wouldn't, you know, defend the earth from aliens. So that's what the trickster wanted was if you get rid of her, then, you know, the the earth won't be saved, basically, from a lot of things that Sarah Jane would deal with. Now, that's an interesting thing because it's like, well, earth still has unit. Earth still has Torchwood to an extent. And the earth still has the doctor. But that's the thing is that the earth basically has four things to protect it from these alien invaders unit torchwood the doctor and sarah jane if you take any of those out then those things the things that you know that thing was going to stop suddenly the earth is in chaos so i like that even though because you you know you would think it's like okay well if you take out sarah jane you still have unit torchwood and the doctor but that doesn't matter it just does not matter that you need you the earth basically needs the four of them to survive even though torchwood's kind of out right now but uh, i don't know there's another season we'll see <laughs> but yeah so that's an interesting thing to think about that earth actually does need um does actually need all four of these things in order to survive so yeah definitely definitely interesting and especially because with Sarah Jane, that all that takes out Mr. Smith, that takes out K9, that takes out Luke and Ronnie and uh, and Clyde. I forgot his name for a sec. Um, so yeah, that is also interesting. So it makes me wonder, like you know, what if they took, what if they did a trickster episode on everything else? Like like we te we kind of had a trickster episode in Doctor Who with Turn Left. It was kind of the same thing. It wasn't exactly you know the trickster tricking someone, but it was. You know, basically, Donna being, you know, manipulated into changing her past, which got rid of the Doctor and brought in all this chaos. So, yeah, that's interesting. So, it makes you think, like, what if, you know, Unit had to deal with the Trickster? How would they do that? Would they still, you know, would they need the Doctor for that? Or, what would be more interesting, honestly, is if on Torchwood... You know, which I think we're well past, you know, the chance to do that now. Thanks, Children of Earth. Um, but, you know, what if on Torchwood we had an episode with the Trickster? I don't know. It'd be interesting. And then the ring. So, okay. Now, now I was I was wrong initially when, when it showed the ring and then she was like, No, it's okay. I'm not angry. And I, I did, you know, technically misunderstand that. So... Before she got the ring, she w she was actually, you know, not angry that they were spying on her or anything, but but it was the ring that sort of made sure that she was compliant, I guess, you know, and went through with the marriage. And before that everything was okay. And I know I did the whole big thing, and I bet you I'm going to make that the thumbnail, but um but yeah, so just interesting that, you know, the ring basically to try to make it to where you know nothing would interfere with this of course that doesn't work the kid the kids are smart they have k9 and then they have the doctor which is cool and then i wrote down the trickster i love that the trickster is in every season i just love that you know i hope that's true through all five of these seasons you know which is you know the interesting thing that we're through we're about i guess we're about halfway through season three and we're going to finish it up pretty soon. And then, um, then, well, we're going to take a break from Torchwood. And then it's just two seasons. And I think, I'm pretty sure I, I've seen that uh, Series 5 is short. It's like, I think it's only half a season. And that's because uh, Elizabeth Sladen passed away. You know, R RIP. That's, that, that is a loss. And I'm sure, I'm sure once we get to that episode, there's going to be like a in loving memory and i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna break down because that's just sad as shit so yeah <laughs> uh that'll be a fun day anyway so yeah we're almost through we're we're really cranking through this show which is really cool um even though we're gonna take a bit of a break uh to get back to torchwood to finish that but uh anyway so i do kind of hope the trickster is in every season 
because what a great villain, I gotta say. And, oh, it makes you so mad. Like, you get so fired up when this motherfucker shows up. And, you know, he's all he's all evil and laughing and stuff. And you saw, you saw, I threw a fucking fit about that guy showing up again. Might be my favorite, you know, reaction moment ever when he shows up and stuff. Because I didn't see it coming. That's the biggest thing is you never see him coming until he shows up. And I do love that. I really love... I love that they can do that. It's like, you know... You just never know when this dude's gonna show up. And when he does, it's like... Fuck, this guy again. Ah, uh, so... He is definitely... I'd say he's probably... And see, the thing is... He's only... Like, he was created for this show, I'm pretty sure. Unless he's appeared before. I don't know. He's never been in Doctor Who, I don't think. He's never been in Doctor Who or Torchwood. I doubt he was in classic Doctor Who. So, yeah. So it's like, it's this reoccurring villain made for this show. So it's like, I would put him up there as one of the great villains of this whole franchise. Like, you know, if you, if you did like a top ten, you could probably stick the trickster in there somewhere. So, yeah. Uh, I wrote down the Doctor. I love that they brought the Doctor in. That is just amazing. And it made sense because, you know, there are countless times where it's like, well, shouldn't you have the Doctor in here and stuff like that? But it's like... But with all those, it's like, well, yeah, but Sarah Jane can do this. The kids can do this. It doesn't matter. It's like, it's like, yeah, we can do this. We don't need the doctor. This time they needed the friggin' doctor. Like, definitely needed the doctor on this one. So it works. And I'm, and I'm kind of, and it's kind of interesting too, because it's like, you know, he said, it's like, you know, I didn't just do that, you know, for me. I did that for the universe, because you know, the universe needs you. You're important, and stuff like that. But I mean, that's a big thing, you know, Sarah Jane's getting married, it's like, you'd think he would show up, you'd think he would show up, so yeah, and I love at the end that, you know, because we saw, I think it was, was it last episode or the, yes, it was last episode when, you know, they saw Sarah Jane's past, and they showed clips of her from uh, classic Doctor Who, and, you know, they showed... I guess when the doctor left her and, you know, she was like, don't forget about me. And he was just like, I don't, don't, you know, you don't forget about me. And so I like that they did that again here with the doctor. He said, don't you forget about me. And she was like, can't, I cannot forget about you. So yeah, I love that they brought the doctor in. He didn't, I don't think he overstepped his bounds or anything. Like this doesn't become an episode of Doctor Who. You know, and I like that the the kids still played an important role. You know, they were still incredibly useful, and the Doctor recognized that. It's like, oh yeah, you know, you're Sarah Jane's friends, which means you're my friends, and you are of you are of good use. You know, it means you know she she knows how to pick them. Basically, it's like so. Yeah, I did like that. Um, I wrote down the Pantheon of Discord. That's just fucking cool. They even said that too. It's like that sounds like a name of a band, and the Doctor's like, oh yeah, yeah, it does. So, the Pantheon of Discord is what the trickster is from, but I guess the rest of them are just gone? They're, it's really not a Pantheon anymore. And yeah, you know, they, he said, it's like, oh, they're from beyond the universe. Of course they are. Uh, because everything is from beyond the universe except the Daleks, basically. So, yeah. Really cool. Makes me wonder if there was any of the Pantheon in classic Doctor Who. I don't know, but that would be interesting. Or... Heck, maybe future Sarah Jane episodes, future Doctor Who episodes. I guess Torchwood, if you really wanted to do that. You know, maybe future episodes, we could see the rest of the Pantheon. That'd be kind of cool. And then the last thing I wrote down was the I Do, which, you know, we kind of... We kind of talked about that already. The fact that, you know... If she agrees to marry Peter, then that would... Then that would basically agree to the trickster... Because then the trickster would win and, you know, fully bring Peter back to life. And it sucks that Peter, you know, was basically only half dead. But, yeah, so that's interesting. It was a good it was a good way of doing that because, you know, because it's like, yeah, how many different ways can he try to trick Sarah Jane? But that one was good. And obviously, you know, holding the doctor and the kids hostage in a different second, basically, that was good. And I'm glad she never uh, caved on that. 
you know, because because that was the thing is that the doctor said it's like, you know, they were like, oh, she won't she won't agree to it. And he was like, she will, because we're here. And it's like she never did, though. So I like that. That was good. And yeah, great episode. I'm sure it's going to be the best episode of this series. It it seems to me that the trickster episodes are the best and I'm ter- I'm perfectly fine with that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Love this episode. Um it'll be interesting to see if the doctor ever shows up again. Um of course Tenet, I think Tenet's regenerating soon, I think. I really I'm not sure. So yeah, I think Tenet's regenerating soon, but so maybe I don't know. I know the show keeps going, so yeah. Um, I know the show keeps going, so maybe we'll see the Doctor again. That would be really cool. But, yeah, we'll see. Honestly, if they didn't bring the Doctor back, this is fine. Just, just like this. So, yeah, really enjoyed this one. Really, really glad we had it. So, yeah. With that all being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Sarah Jane Adventures reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.